today taking a look at a new disc from Prodigy and that is the D2 Pro. We've got two D2 Pros in the 400 and 500 Spectrum Plastics and I also have a 400 and 500 regular D2 to compare them against. So today it's pretty windy. I've got a tailwind on one side, obviously a headwind on the other. So for a overstable distance driver like this, it should be a pretty good test to see how they're going to fly for you uh, out in whatever course you play when it's windy. So let's give these guys some rips and see what we think. Okay, so we threw both the D2 Pro and the standard D2s out in the field, and I've got to say, I wish they were more different. It was really hard for me to tell the difference between them on some of the throws, and honestly, of the four, the most overstable was the 400 D2, the regular one, and it was the longest one, too. Um, I threw this one really really well on one throw and it went 520 feet so uh overall of the four that one was my favorite and i found that the uh spectrum d2 pro and the kind of gummy 500 uh regular d2 were very similar in flight had some really good pulls with both of them i think on the backhand this one showed its stability a little more uh, i couldn't get it out quite as far like 350 370 was tops so i got this one near 400 as well as the 400 D2 Pro. I got this one about 405 backhand and when I threw it forehand with like a tiny bit of hyzer and let it flip up and ride it went really well. It went just over 500 feet like right at 502 so uh, it was an impressive disc but it took me a while to figure it out because I thought it was going to be more overstable and just flipped it over on some of the flat or mild anhyzer forehand so that was a little weird and if you take a look at the profile of the two like they're they're not dissimilar really there we go that's a good angle you can see where the parting lines are very close the pro one maybe is a tiny bit domier but not really and the only difference in feel is if you feel from the inner rim out the d2 has like basically a straight wedge with maybe a little bit of variation in it and for whatever reason you can feel it almost like flows with like a convex hump in the middle of the D2 Pro. I don't even think you can see it. Well, you kind of can. See where it kind of slopes and then it suddenly scoops there. And I don't dislike it, but it's kind of weird But that they would be that different and really not, not throw all that different. So between the two, I can't really say that I prefer the D2 Pro or the D2 over one another I honestly think that they're very close but 
the forehander D2 flew the best for me out of the four of them, both forehand and backhand. And I like the feel of it just a little bit better than these. Um, nothing to say that these were bad, but maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not pro enough <laughs> to make the D2 Pro do what it, it needs to do. So overall, D2 versus D2 Pro, I get the slight edge to the standard D2. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.